Hey guys, it's Davia here. Oh my god, first I want to say I dropped my phone in the toilet at Target today and they say it's supposed to be waterproof but it's acting a little funky so I'm going to have to call Apple and figure that out because if it's acting funky as I dropped it in the toilet then that means that it's not waterproof and I took it literally right out after I dropped it in the toilet so yeah, <laughs> we're going to see how that goes. But anywho, said so we're going to take a little deep dive into female hygiene. Being a female in general, it's super, super hard. We have, like, so much to worry about. We have so much to take care of and all that good stuff. So female hygiene is definitely something that all of us want to know, like, tips and tricks of what we can do, what we can't do, and all that good stuff. So I am here to kind of help you guys learn some more knowledge about female hygiene and what we should do to kind of help us in the future. Now that I got that out of the way, I just want to say also, before we even get fully into detailed, we all have a natural scent. It's just the way it is. Like, we can't make our lovely lady downstairs smell like peaches and cream all the time. It's just not going to happen, you know what I mean? Like, we're going to have that natural female scent. And everybody's scent is different. And so, I would say this, though. If you feel that your scent is very overbearing or it's really fishy and it's seeking through your jeans or your pants or whatever, then I would recommend that you get checked because it can be something more in detail. So yeah, I would definitely recommend that. Rather than that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so my first tip is panties. So as females, we love Victoria's Secret. We love to go shopping for our panties. I know I love to go shopping for my panties in any kind of undergarment. Like if I see the little cute one with the heart in the back, I'm gonna get it. But I would say this, it's definitely, definitely, definitely recommended that you only wear them um, from time to time. Make sure that you always have your cotton panties. Your cotton panties are gonna be like your best friend. Like that's literally gonna be your best friend. We can wear our thongs from time to time, but we wanna make sure that our coochie is always breathing. We make sure that she's comfortable because if you suffocate her, it's just gonna be causing infections. And if, especially if you're prone to infections, you're gonna want to make sure that she's breathing like all the time. So, like I said, no problem with wearing those panties, those little cute panties if you got a little date night or whatever. No harm, no foul, but make sure you prioritize cotton panties over sexual panties, okay? All right, so tip number two is gonna be ingrown hairs. If you're like me and who loves to wear tight-fitted jeans and still keep her kitty looking pretty, <laughs> then you know or you probably experience ingrown hairs. I personally hated it so much. I don't have to deal with it anymore because I changed my habits. But before when I did, it was so annoying like all the time. And so what I found out after doing research and all that good stuff is that I wasn't letting my vagina breathe and have that space to actually grow my natural hairs back. And so my jeans were literally super skin tucked tight like you found every single curve that was in my body kind of tight jeans and so after i kind of changed my jean habits getting a little size bigger and stuff like that my ingrown hair stopped like completely now i can shave comfortably and still look good and not have to have ingrown hairs because I changed my pants like I still wear tight jeans from time to time but I don't wear them as often as I used to because I, I learned the importance of letting my vagina breathe and actually grow my hair back <laughs> so now I don't have to deal with it so if you're dealing with that right now I would definitely recommend you trying it and let me know if it worked for you because it worked for me but like I said everybody's body is different and so what works for me might not work for you all right sorry i was being nosy my neighbor over on the phone and i never i never see my neighbor like i'm super nosy right now but i never see my neighbor and i never knew he was black like he's black i thought i was the only black person in this neighborhood but he's black he's like a light-skinned black but he's black and he on the phone with ghetto as all hell like he must come from like alabama or somewhere but i'm nosy because he was on the phone he was like hey boy i'm like see black <laughs> but anywho i got off topic but tip number three is you are what you eat. Honestly, I feel like everybody should have a healthy diet in general. I'm not talking about being totally healthy and have not just eating freaking yogurt and grams and nuts and whatever the hell, whatever y'all want to call it. 
I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about like making sure you keep your probiotics up, making sure you're eating your protein, making sure you're drinking your water. Probiotics and water is like your number one thing you want to try to always have and take on when it comes to your body because for one water is healthy in general it helps your skin flourish it just cleans your body out and from inside out so that's just number one like you should always drink water at least a gallon a day if you don't i get it i don't drink a gallon a day but that's what's recommended <laughs> so i'm just letting you guys know but getting your probiotics is definitely important when it comes to your vagina because it gives you the good bacteria there's good bacteria and there's bad bacteria and our body has bad bacteria especially when you start noticing discharge it means you've got a little bit of bad bacteria in there you just kind of need to balance it out so eating more probiotics will definitely help you out you can also get like the little tablets as well there's tablets that you guys can get they're like 10 bucks at walmart or whatever or anywhere you can get them anywhere they're like really small really easy to swallow and so if you don't like eating yogurt or any dairy just get the tablets that will definitely help your body kind of help stay in balance so that's another key that helps i learned that i suffered from having a lot of discharge and i realized because i never ate I don't, I don't like any dairy besides milk and i only eat it in my cereal so when she's oh you should have like yogurt i'm like i don't want to eat yogurt but I started eating I started taking the tablets and it helped my balance I don't see as much discharge as I used to and so I'm definitely happy about that so you guys should try it if you're having some issues with discharge or any kind of bad bacteria I recommend eating more probiotics alrighty guys so tip number four is gonna be staying dry if you're like me I'm very very active I love going to the gym and if you can go to the gym like I do you know your panties sweat and if they don't sweat then you ain't doing the right thing sis i'm sorry to tell you but you're not doing the right thing if your panties don't sweat while you're at the gym but like say if you like going to the beach or you like going to the pool and you're wearing your bikini you're going to want to switch out of that as fast as possible you don't want to sit there and go from the beach dry off in your bikini and go to the store and walk around like no that moisture is still down there and if you're prone to infections that's a no-go for you like you need to cut that like now even when you go to the gym you should go straight from the gym straight home hop in the shower clean off make sure your vagina dry put a little baby powder in there and let it be you don't want your vagina to be wet it's just gonna cause really bad bacteria down there it's gonna moist it all up and just get infected you don't want that you don't want a bac bacteria vaginosis you don't want none of that bad stuff down there so just keep it as dry as possible bay powder it's definitely my friend i love putting bay powder in my my little the jj every time i leave the house it just helps me stay fresh all day long so yeah keep your vagina dry guys let it dry tip number five is gonna be sleeping naked no underwear i like to sleep naked i don't know about y'all but I'm a naked kind of person. I like my skin to be free at night. I don't like no clothes touching me. I barely like my blanket touching me. But let your vagina breathe at night. Like, if you're, just let it breathe. Just let it hang out. Just let it be free. I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, what about my, my period or my cycle or whatever? Like, of course you're going to wear whatever you wear when it comes to your cycle. You're not going to just freaking sleep in the bed and just let it drain out. You know what I mean? But I'm just talking about like your natural, normal days. I would definitely recommend trying to sleep without any pennies it builds for one it builds confidence like it's proven research too so google it if you don't believe me but it builds confidence it just makes you feel good it makes your vagina breathe it makes you stay natural it makes you just stay dry and just clean free so i would definitely recommend you guys trying it even if you try it for a week i want you guys to try it for a week try it for a week and let me know how you guys feel by the end of that week i think it'll be definitely a good thing to try out but just try it. Let your vagina breathe. Let it be free. Let it be happy. If you're not comfortable with sleeping naked, just put a t-shirt on. Just put a t-shirt on, but like like your boyfriends or oversized t-shirts you have, whatever. Just put it on and just let your vagina breathe, but your body's still covered up if you're not that confident. But yeah, it's definitely a good idea to try it out. So I want you guys to try it out for a week and let me know how you guys feel. So tip number six is going to be washing your vagina the right way. I know a lot of us want to use the infinimum soaps and all that fancy, cute, smelling, Victoria's Secret body wash and i can go on forever honestly the best thing to use on your vagina is just plain old water just water like they do have like non-scented vitamin soap that you can use but i wouldn't recommend using it every single day just from time to time 
just use water. Do y'all hear him screaming? He's ghetto as hell. But anyways, just use water. Like, water is the best thing for your JJ. So just use it and keep it fresh. Don't put all those harsh soaps on it. That product and the perfume is just going to cause bacteria. It's just going to cause irritation. It's just going to cause yeast infection. So it's just best to just keep it clean with just some nice warm water and just clean it out. All right, so tip number seven is cleaning your vagina after intercourse. It is very, very crucial to make sure you clean your vagina after intercourse, especially if you had unprotected sex. You don't want that stuff lingering around and just sitting there because all it's going to do is just mess up your balance and it's going to cause yeast infection and it's just going to build up and you just don't want that. So make sure you take a full shower, let that water hit your body, let that water hit your vagina and just clean it fresh. Just clean it out, let it be clean. Cause if you don't, it's gonna be very bad. It's gonna be very bad. And so it's just very, very good for you just to get in the habit of always taking a shower after you have intercourse. Even if it's two o'clock in the morning, late night freak, take a shower, just do it, please. It will make your vagina very, very happy. I promise you that. Alrighty, tip number seven is wiping your vagina after you pee the correct way. Like, I'm not sure if it's just me, but my mom didn't teach me how to wipe my vagina the right way. So, I haven't learned that on my own. But, like, a lot of us, we wipe our vagina going up. Like, I don't know if I can do it the right way, but you go up. No, you need to wipe your vagina going back. Because everything that you bring up is just going to go into the vagina area and it's going to cause it to be infected and it's going to give you a yeast infection it's going to give you bad bacteria it's just going to give you all that good stuff so you don't know what's coming from your booty hole to your vagina you don't want that so just clean back just push everything back make go to your butt not your vagina your butt so sweep it back and that's just the right way to clean your vagina <sighs> Um, don't know why I never learned that, but I'm happy that I did because it helps out with a lot of different things, especially my balance helped out a lot. So if you didn't know how to clean your vagina the right way, there you go. You're welcome. All right. And so tip number nine is don't put anything in your vagina. Like, oh, I know a lot of you girls like to douche and oh, all that extra stuff, whatever y'all the heck y'all be doing. Don't do it. First of all, I know douche is like, oh, not scented or vinegar water or whatever. You should not be putting anything up your vagina unless it's sexual pleasure. And that means natural, a man's genitals or a dildo. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing else belongs in your vagina. Nothing. So just keep it clear free of everything. I don't even like fingers in my vagina. Like, no. There's so many different, like, germs and bacteria that's in your nails or a man's nails to even for him to put his finger in me like no don't put your finger in me don't do it no Ugh. just keep whatever you can out your vagina unless it's natural and it's sexual and that's it that's it because you don't anything that goes in your vagina is just gonna mess up your balance it's just gonna irritate your vagina because it doesn't belong there and so it's kicking it back out and it's just gonna be a mess for you. So just stop. Just don't put anything in your vagina, okay? That's it. Alrighty, we made it to tip number 10. And tip number 10 is don't ignore your vagina, guys. Like if you smell something funky down there, or if you're itching down there, or whatever it is down there that's not normal, just call your gynecologist. Just call them up. Call them up, let them know what's going on. They're going to take care of you. That's just it. Don't ignore. A lot of us like try to be like, oh, well, maybe it's just this. Let me just drink some cranberry juice or let me just get me a yeast thing from the store or whatever. Like, no, don't ignore your vagina. Make sure you always seek out medical help first. Medical professional help, should I say? Yeah. Seek out medical professional help first before you even self-diagnose yourself or think it's okay or think it's normal. No. If you're smelling fishy and funky and itchy and just, uh, get checked. There's no harm in getting checked. 
Make sure you wear condoms all the time when you're having sexual intercourse. Unless you're with your partner for a while and you trust them and you guys get tested every now and then. I recommend getting tested three times a year. I usually do. That's just my thing. But you just never know. So, yeah. But I would definitely recommend just always checking with your doctor at the end of the day. If you're feeling any kind of insecurity about your vagina talk with your doctor they're always going to be your best help they're always going to give you what you need to know what you need to hear how to go about the situation so yeah the sun is actually setting right now so that is it for this video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe down below and hit the notification button i would love to have you guys a part of my gang i post videos every tuesday and thursday on this channel so yeah Hopefully you guys stay safe during quarantines. I love you guys once again. And I will see you guys next Tuesday.